Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C and we're looking at Cold Star on a carrier. This is not the official procedure, this is a stripped down combat procedure just to get you up. So, first of all, we're going to turn our body off right shift and P and turn our stick off there. Check our braking, uh, parking brake is on, this is pulled out and it's vertical and it is. Next, battery on, right mouse click, double check left generator and right generator already on and they are. Next, I'm going to put my canopy down, left control and Charlie. Next I'm going to turn my APU on. He's this chap here and we're going to leave that to turn on and wait until the ready green light is on. Now on we can now engine crank right so right click on engine crank. When this chap here gets up to 25% we can right shift and home to uncase the right throttle. Now at 25% right shift and home We've now got the right throttle in idle. Next, we wait until the speed of the engine here is up to 60% RPM. When it is, we are going to do a full right revolution of the bleed air here, which is absolutely essential, and we are not quite there yet. Okay, so right click, right click, right click, right click. Next, we're going to turn our HUD on. Our left DDI on. Right click. Right DDI, right click, and our AMPCD like that leave them to warm up next we can crank the left engine so left click we're going to wait for this here to get to 25 percent here and then we are going to right alt and home to uncase the left throttle to idle and do that now and once it gets to 60 percent we're going to turn the right ins knob here to cv alignment because we're on a carrier just going to wait for that to go okay so CV alignment, we're going to monitor that alignment on the HSI page, so out of there, there, and we can monitor the alignment there as we go through the procedure. Next, our radar, we can turn to operational. Next, check our OBOX is on, so OBOX on, and check this guy is, the flow is on. Next, we're going to get our FCS page, which is there. We've got some crosses that we need to alleviate, so we're going to reset, push and hold the FCS reset button check the crosses have gone and they have next flaps are going to go up to auto they're going to go back down to half before we take off but we'll cover that in the takeoff video takeoff trim we're going to set so we're going to push and hold left click that guy there next we're going to check on our fcs screen check that we are set for takeoff now the pitch trim is currently at 12 this will change to between 16 and 18 depending on our weight before takeoff but we will cover that on the takeoff video Next, anti-skid. Ensure it's turned off on a carrier and it is already turned off. Before we release our parking brake, we're going to check that our INS alignment is complete and we can see that it is OK, so it's complete. We're going to turn our INS knob here to nav. We're going to disengage our parking brakes. So it's a left click there. We're going to uncage our backup ADI, so we're going to scroll it or right click, that's uncaged now. We're going to look at the attitude source for the HUD, you can have INS auto or standby, you want to check it as an auto and that is currently in the middle position, which is auto. Down here, ejection seat arm, then onto some tactical stuff, so dispenser, we're going to turn on, or we could go to bypass. The ECM, although it's not actually working yet, we should get into the practice of turning that to standby so it's ready, warmed up and ready for use later on. Our RWR, we're going to power on there. Note we do have a warning there it's saying that the wings are folded, which they are, but we will not unfold them until we are hooked up and ready to take off. We'll cover that in the takeoff video. Chances are we will have wheel trucks on, so we need to contact the ground crew through the communications menu. We're going to go to parent menu, ground crew, wheel trucks, remove. That's us ready to taxi and take off. We will cover taxi, trimming, hookup and take off in the takeoff video. I hope that was useful and see you later.